Hello, Disney Car Toys here, and today I'm taking over the Toys Review Toys channel to show you this vintage Barbie Beauty School Play-Doh set. This vintage Barbie Play-Doh set comes with three book molds. The first one with food. The second one has two Barbie hair mannequins. These mannequins are pretty interesting and definitely look like they're from the 1970s. The third book mold is accessories with two purses, perfect for the Magic Clip dolls. I am going to start by making Play-Doh handbags by loading up this accessory mold. I'm just going to load up one side and these purses aren't very deep and so you just need a little bit of Play-Doh. Just squeeze them all together and now we have two perfect purses for our dolls. Let's rip off the Play-Doh very carefully here. It's so thin you need to be pretty careful ripping off the Play-Doh. Here's our first purse and our second one. It's a little tough to see but the purse on the left has a little star on it. Now it's time to give the dolls the purses. I'll give the first one to Elsa here in her beautiful blue dress, kind of like a Cinderella dress. And it sticks right on her hand perfectly and it is absolutely the most perfect size. The second one I'll give to Ariel and she's wearing a magic clip dress similar to one that Snow White would wear. Now I'm going to make some more Play-Doh purses for Anna and Belle. But this time I'm going to make purple purses just so that Anna and Belle can stand out from Ariel and Elsa. I'll give Belle her purse first, and honestly the purple color really does match pretty well with her dress. Just slide her hand through the Play-Doh, and the purple purse definitely goes with Anna's outfit. Now that the ladies each have a purse, it's time to go to beauty school! It's time now to use the mannequin mold. It's got a little picture of a hair dryer on the front. And we have two mannequins to make. I don't know exactly what color to make the mannequins, so I'm just going to choose pink. Now these mannequins are a little deeper molds than the other purse molds we did, so you do need a little more Play-Doh for this one. Just squeeze your book mold tight. And ta-da! Here are our mannequins. Just peel them out. Here's the first one. She's got bangs. Stick her up right here. And the second one. She has nice layered hair. These mannequins are pretty interesting, but perfect for a beauty school. The last mold has food related items. The picture has a soda and a hot dog, but it comes with a plate, a root beer bottle, a cup, and a sandwich. I'll make the root beer bottle brown, and for the plate, I'll use blue Play Doh. And to match the plate, I'll use blue Play Doh for the cup as well. And I'll use red Play Doh to make the sandwich. Hey, why not? Once all the Play-Doh is loaded, just press your book mold closed, use all your strength, and ta-da, we've got ourselves a picnic here. Let's rip off all the Play-Doh so that the girls can eat. We have four items so each girl can have one. I'll give Belle the plate because hey, she's friends with a teapot and a teacup so maybe she'll be friends with a plate too. And let's see, I'll give the sandwich to Anna. And we'll give the little cup to Elsa because it matches her dress. Very cute. And I'll just give Ariel the root beer because it's probably something that she normally doesn't have when she's a mermaid. 
Vintage Play-Doh sets are awesome, huh? And who knew it would work so well with these Magic Clip dolls? Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video, and don't forget to subscribe to my husband's channel, Toys Review Toys, for more fun!